What's up everyone, today I'm going to run through all of the options that you can get with a 22 RPD tune. So here we are on the 22 RPD website on the N51 and N52 tune page. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down and you can see on the 22 RPD tunes you can add a bunch of different options. And we do have some brief descriptions here of what each one does but I'm gonna go ahead and go through each one individually here, and we'll put some videos in between each one so you can really see what they do. And so this first section here, you have your naturally aspirated tune, velocity stack tune, and supercharged tune. Most of you guys are gonna pick this first one here, the naturally aspirated tune. Um, that's gonna be 90% of people purchasing a tune. And this velocity stack tune is going to be for our velocity stacks that remove the throttle body. And so if you purchase the party mode velocity stacks, you will be needing this tune here. If you purchase the lid version, which retains the throttle body, you can just get the naturally aspirated tune. Supercharged tune is self-explanatory if you have a supercharger. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll down here. We've got the first option, which is Burble, Crackle, and Flames. We can do varying amounts of Burble from an OEM plus Burble all the way to sounding like a shotgun. option here is the Alpha N. This is just going to be if you have a custom intake that removes the MAF sensor. Usually you will not need this option. ED5 conversion is if you want to run ED5 on your car, you will need this option plus our injectors. Hard cut limiter. So what this does is it creates an ignition cut at red line and so when you hit the limiter it will sound like this <laughs> This is popular for guys who drift and ride on the limiter or people who just want their car to sound cooler when they hit the red line versus the OEM red line which is a soft red line and it doesn't sound too great. Injector upgrade. This is for if you're changing injectors, pretty self-explanatory. Increased idle RPM. This is for people with lightweight flywheels or solid motor mounts, transmission mounts, stuff like that. Um, this will help NVH by raising the idle RPM. Um, if you don't have any of those things, you do not need that. Increased rev limit. This is a pretty standard option most people choose and this just increases your rev limit. Sapt Elite, this is only for N51s that remove the secondary air pump. Top speed limiter delete, this is also very self-explanatory. We remove the top speed limiter. Um, you can go as fast as you want. Three-stage intake, this is going to be used for the dual DISA manifold, also known as the three-stage intake. If your car did not come with one from the factory and you installed one, go ahead and select this option. Extra map, this is for people who want a second tune, whether it be for different burbles or a pump map, an E85 map, stuff like this. Um, to switch back and forth between maps, you would just need to hook up your laptop and it takes about five minutes once you have done the initial tune process to switch between maps. Swap tune, this is for if you swap your N52 into a chassis that did not come with one, um, for example an E36, you will need this to make it work on a different chassis. GTS startup, this is an option that comes from the factory on a lot of newer BMWs. And what this does is it creates a roar um, from the exhaust when you start up the car, uh, makes it sound more aggressive. <laughs> Linear throttle mapping. This changes the throttle pedal to behave more like a drive-by 
cable throttle, um, whereas 100% of the pedal pressed will be 100% of throttle applied. Normally around 80% of pushing the pedal down, you will be at 100% of throttle applied to the engine. Um, and so what this does is it gives you more room to modulate your throttle. Um, you will have to push the pedal down farther for the same amount of power um, versus stock. And where this comes in handy is if you race the car or canyon carve and you want the absolute most modulation of the throttle pedal to control, you know, the car's rotation, how much power you're applying. If you prefer a more aggressive throttle pedal, you like it to be more of an on-off switch and a little more twitchy, you would not want this option. You would want to keep the stock progressive throttle mapping. Ghost Cam, this makes your car sound like it has a big aggressive cam in it while you're idling. It gives you that signature chop. This doesn't do anything for performance whatsoever. It's just kind of a neat cosmetic thing um, that sounds cool while you're idling the car. This is just if you have MILVs installed in your car, you'll need to check this option so that we can adjust the tune for them. N54 intake, this is if you install the N54 intake manifold on your car so we can adjust the tune for that. So as for delivery options, our usual most popular option is the remote tune. That is where we will send you a flashing cable, we will send you a flash drive, and that flash drive will have instructions and also the software. So we'll send you all the stuff to do it and you will flash the tune on your own through your laptop. All you need is a 25 amp battery charger, which must be on the car at all times. You can see more about the instructions on how to flash your car in this video I'll link here. ECU exchange, this is where you ship us your ECU. We bench flash it with the tune and we send that ECU back to you and you install it. In-person tune is if you drive to us here in Renton, Washington, and we do everything for you and you drive off with your tune car. This notes section here, we really like. Um, we wanna hear about your car and what goals you have with the car. Are you tracking it? You want a street car? You want it to shoot flames, whatever. Add it in here so we can kind of get an idea of what you've got going on and what you want. And that's it. Hopefully that answers some questions in regards to the 22 RPD tune. Thank you guys for watching. As always, have a great day.